Well, you see, in the last video, I, I sort of, you know, threatened to to send Chicken George a uh, a package that had would have a would contain a surprise. Yes, a surprise that would surprise Chicken George in in a uh, in an unkind way. Huh, but I was just kidding about that. Really, what I'm thinking about sending him is. Uh, painting. I won't post this until he gets the painting, but uh, here's the thing about painting, selling painting, the dare marketing plan that I've set up. I don't put prices on anything anymore because, frankly, if I don't sell something, I'd rather burn it in the fireplace <clears throat> to get the BTUs out of it as I burn wood in the winter. Um, so, I thought, well, maybe I should just give my art away. Maybe that's even a bit. That just seems like way too sort of magnanimous, and, or what's the word, just big, like kind of sensitive. And I really don't want to have any part of that <clears throat> because it kind of makes me feel creepy inside to be sensitive. So, um, so what I've done, and so, but you know, so what I've set up here is that, you know, I'm going to be do a sensitive gesture to Chicken George, you know. Um, by building a painting for him. Now he may get this painting, and you know, since I'm not going to post this, like I said, till uh, he gets this painting and does what he does, that he may do something, you know, to me that is going to take away this this gesture I have, this this warm, this like touch of warmth in my heart that I have for uh, Chicken George, um, if you will, and. Uh, uh, but I don't want to think you. I want you to think I'm going overboard because I'm not. Because what I've done here is I picked this frame out of a stack of frames I built that aren't worth anything. I probably wasn't the right size for something I did, you know, because I'm always like cutting once and like doing everything over. That's just the way I work. And I did a drawing. I even went as far as to do it. Take the time to do a damn drawing. So what I'm saying is, and I don't, I'm, like, I'm not going to even take up any time, my time, I'm not going to take up any of my time, really, to focus on this drawing. Um, I'm like torn between like being that nice guy that I sometimes think that I am or fantasize that I am, and like sort of the frustrated evil, pissed off artists that we all are, you know, underneath our like happy art that we make. This is that secret, like screwed up underbelly that dr dripping with black slime. Sort of like, you know, like what goes on inside the head of like a, a person who's not happy. Ugh, it's horrible. So, you know, I'm like torn between that and, um, but so I'm working on other projects, and while paint dries on that, those projects, I'll work on the Chicken George project. So I, I won't actually feel like I've invested any time in it. <laughs> and um, and if I if I break one drill bit, or bend one nail, or you know I don't even know if I want to like use my saws on this job because I would wear the teeth down on the saws and. I don't know if Chicken George is worth that, but uh, see again, I'm just wrestling, you know, with doing the right thing. And life's like that, you know. It's just a struggle between, you know, Good and Chicken George. The hell, that's probably him on the phone right now. Well, I stopped working on my coffin project, I'm building a coffin for myself, because uh, being an artist and all, I'm pretty poor, so I try to save money every way I can. So I'm building my own coffin. Anyway, I used the top of the coffin here today to make this piece here for Chicken George. Chicken George, he's a real outsider artist, not a fake one like me. He's a real outsider artist, and he lives down in Texas, and he has chickens, and he knows what to do with chickens. He, he's a good cook, and so I thought, it would be fun to, you know, do something for Chicken George. So here we got George. 
it, the damn paint isn't even dry yet. Not what I'm saying here. It's just like freshly finished. So here's like Chicken George. And uh, I think you'll like this because his little axe hand moves. See that? He can move as he can chop chickens. And I put like a springy head on him. There he goes. Woo! Chicken George, go, buddy, go. And then you got your hot sauce over there because I know he cooks with hot sauce, hot sauce and beer. Hot sauce and beer. And there's his barbecue book, his art books. There's a cookbook. I know he don't need no cookbook, but um, I put a cookbook in there anyway just because it's like one of the barbecue books he makes. So I did that. There you go. I got to do that again. Woo! Go, George, go! Woo hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. And on the back, I put my my good luck melon head there. This is like no sign. I never signed anything this way before. This is like the best, the best, like good luck head ever. And I said I like wish him horrible days and terrible nights. So you know, I don't want him to think I'm getting like too fresh with him or nothing, you know, so, or, you know, I just don't want, you know, Chicken George, he can be evil sometimes, so I gotta like, like back myself up with some, like some kind of like mixed message here, like good luck, well, I didn't even write good luck on it, I didn't really mean good luck, but I think just the front's enough luck anyway, so like balance out like the fun front with all the chicken blood splattered all over, I just went ahead and wrote horrible days and terrible nights on the back. Because I figured he's like kind of country boy and everything, and he'd like that. So, there you go, man. All right, Chicken George. Got something to hang on your wall, brother. Aside from that, uh, you know, sort of morbid and bizarre coffin reference at the beginning of that segment, I was, I was way too cheerful. Um, I think I was just, you know, excited with how the painting turned out. And, you know, now I'm sitting here and I realize that, you know, I've committed... Um, to, you know, sending Chicken George this painting for free, and um, now I'm 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 torn, you know, between, uh, you know, well I started out and the thing was just going to be like a low budget like kind of thing I was just going to send him because I really didn't care, but now like the painting's really cool and I I you know and I mean I even put the springy head in it, you know, and those springs aren't free, um, so. Wow, I, I really don't. Now I'm, I'm very unhappy. Now I was just, I was unhappy before because of these, you know, references to copying, and I, I kind of felt bad, you know, that I sent him that, you know, a box full of broken glass and cat shit. But now the only thing I couldn't do is make that chicken run around with its head cut off. So because this is just art, folks. I mean, this ain't a video, so you can only do so much with it. So the chicken's just on the table. Maybe it already ran around and he just picked it up and put it on the table. I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't make up stories about this stuff. I can't. I mean, I don't have the imagination that, that George has. I just have to do what I do. So there you go. Chicken George. Mm-hmm.